Well, hello, folks, and welcome. Today, we're going to be doing just a quick thing to show you how to set the affinity, like, uh, basically, so it automatically does it for you for Stalker Gamma. I'm going to be playing Stalker Gamma on the channel, and uh, I, I was, like, really distressed because you have to set the affinity um, for what cores or logical processors it's using because it runs like garbage if you do not. And uh, you can manually set it like this. Let me show you really quick. You had to have it run to get there, but you have to redo it every single stupid time, which is annoying. And then this is it here. You go like this. Hold on. Okay, now it's starting. It just took over my mouse really quick. All right, there we go. So you go here. Uh, details. It takes you to this. With affinity, you cannot have the CPU zero selected. If it's like that, you have to take that off. You can manually do it. If that's enabled, it runs like garbage. It really does. And there's a way to make it automatically do that using the shortcut here. So I'm going to show you really quick. You open... I got to close the game, though. Hold on. Yeah, I got to go all the way in and exit out. Okay, there we go. So you go here. There's some other FPS optimization things. I'm not going through all that. The Discord, where just... If you're installing it and you're watching this first, just make sure you go through the installer uh, instructions, you know, through the Discord, exactly how it says, and then go to um, the FPS optimizations and just follow that exactly, and then you should be good. It's not, I think when I was doing it, it was a little confusing. Uh, these, I don't know if I'm supposed to have this enabled. It said to reinstall this, but that's beyond this. Um, you go here, you have this selected, DX11 AVX, and then create a shortcut, and that'll put the shortcut on the desktop. That's what this is here, right here. So let's close that, and then we open up the properties, and then I'm going to show you, let me delete this, this is with it already there, but this is how it pops up automatically, okay? Uh, mine says it's in J because I got it installed in another drive, but yours is more than likely C drive. So, basically this here is what you're going to copy. Don't copy this FFE yet until... Um, we'll get to that in a second. Go like that. Make sure you have a space there. And we're going to have to put that there. That's what uh, processors you want to use. So we're going to go here to performance on the task manager, and then you're going to see the logical processors here. I have 16, and you can even visually see that. You know, 16 doesn't really matter for that. But the way to find out, because this is a hex value, so we'll go here, and we need to figure out the hex value. This is your standard calculator. If you go to this here, this menu thing, go to programmer, this is a programmer's calculator. And you could see this thing here. Bit toggling keypad. And then uh, this is where you're going to set it. You could click these. And just so you know, that zero... Let me see if I... Well, no. That zero there represents that first one we're talking about. So don't click that. But this is that zero one. And then it counts up from here. So I had 16. And then you got to kind of remember to, like, uh, it starts 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so blah, 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 blah. So for mine, I have 16, so you need all 6, or I guess 15 of the other ones clicked. And that's how I got my FFFE there. And that's what I'll set for mine. But then, uh, what do you call it? If yours is 8... Let's say you have eight logical processors, you know, then get rid of the use. Because you could see four, four, eight, that's eight. So that's how you'll set yours. If you have only four logical processors, bam, it's that easy. If you have one of those thread rippers, then you have all these clicked except for that one. This is just the most important one that's not set. If you have this set, your game's going to run like garbage. But this is just to make it 
this here makes it so that you uh, could run the game easier. But you can see I set those there. It's E. So you just put an E here where I have these. Um, but just make sure if you have an issue with this, just make sure you have this exactly how it shows. Make sure you have the spaces in there. And then you can see here, there's no space. I mean, there's a space in between this. Because if you have it like without a space between the E and the J there, it won't work. So just make sure you have that. And then uh, if you have any questions you could ask me, I could probably give you a hand. But so if you only have the four um, logical processors, you got E. So I just would put E there instead. I'll just go like that. If you have eight, and then it's FE, and you put FE. And that's that simple. But like I said, I have 16, so I put FFFE, which is if you go like this. And then uh, that's how you make it run. Uh, don't save. Now you can go back to details, go here. You can see that one's unselected, so you don't have to set it every time. And it would make your life a little easier while you're playing Stalker Gamma. It might be worthwhile knowing for other games as well. So hopefully that was helpful. Like I said, I didn't really want to go through too much other stuff. This is the main thing. But if it did help you out or whatever, uh, make sure you leave a like. And if you want to stick around and watch me play Stalker Gamma, go ahead. And uh, maybe I'll see you there. Take care.